Justin Valanza and a Chocolate Milk In high school, Justin Valanza, Major League Baseball star pitcher and recent victim of a hacker who stole explicit pictures of Valanza and his girlfriend Kate Upton, traded a small percentage of his eventual $3.12 million signing bonus for a 50-cent chocolate milk. This happened while the future MLB superstar was in the 10th grade at Goochland High School in Virginia. Short 50 cents needed for a chocolate milk that day, he asked his friend Daniel Hicks for the money. So I said, how about I give you 0.001% of my pro signing bonus if you give me 50 cents now? He found a napkin, wrote it up, and I signed it. I forgot about it, but after I signed with Detroit, he comes over and whips out his old napkin. I'm like, oh my god, my bonus was 3 point something million. That worked out to be a little over $3,000 for the industrious Daniel Hicks, who turned 50 cents into $3,120 in just about five years when Valanda signed with Detroit in 2004 out of college for a guaranteed contract of $4.5 million, max of $5.6 million, with a signing bonus of $3.12 million. This might not have worked out quite so well for Hicks had Valanda not come down with strep throat at a key time in high school. At that time, Valanda was regularly throwing 93 miles per hour, but when scouts were coming to take a close look at him at the start of the season, he got sick with a Group A streptococcus, aka strep throat, and thereafter his velocity dropped to around 81 miles per hour for a good portion of the rest of the season. By the time he recovered most of his velocity at the end of the year, the scouts were no longer around, so he went to college. Had he signed out of high school, he very likely wouldn't have gone nearly so high in the draft, and his signing bonus would have been significantly less. In college at Old Dominion University, he drastically bolstered his value in scouts' eyes in the three years he attended, setting a school record for strikeouts in a single game, 17, a single season, 139, and then broke it again at 151, all-time strikeout leader, 427 in 335 innings, and finished with a 2.57 ERA in college. In 2003, a year before he was drafted, he also helped the U.S. win a silver medal in the Pan Am Games. Ultimately, he was drafted second overall in 2004, after Matt Bush. As you might imagine from becoming instantly wealthy right out of college and since bolstering that with a seven-year, $180 million contract, among other earnings throughout his career, Valanda does not regret signing the deal for the chocolate milk. Was a chocolate milk worth $3,000? I want to say yes. I was parched. Bonus facts. Milk is white thanks to a protein called casein, which makes up around 80% of the proteins in milk. Casein scatters and deflects light more or less uniformly throughout the visual spectrum, so milk looks white in the human visual spectrum. Bonus fact 2. The reason raw milk goes bad so quickly when left out, at least for drinking purposes, is that the lactose in milk ends up getting processed by microorganisms into lactic acid. Depending on the microorganisms performing this processing, this can produce a variety of tasty products, such as various types of cheese, yogurts, buttermilk, etc., or create something quite rancid. Bonus fact 3. Valanza was named Rookie of the Year in 2006. At the time it happened, he was out washing his car. He claims he even forgot what day the announcement would be made, so wasn't thinking about it. He came inside halfway through washing his car to find 20 missed calls on his phone from the Tigers. As excited as he was finding out about winning, rather than immediately celebrating, he stated, I had to go out and finish washing my car. Can't leave the soap on there. Bonus fact 4. Grade A and B milk are the two varieties allowed in the United States. Grade A milk is used for direct consumption, grade B is used for making cheeses and other types of milk product. There is very little difference between the two. Grade A milk is cooled using refrigeration due to the requirement to keep it at 45 degrees Fahrenheit within two hours of milking, and grade A milk farms are inspected every six months. Grade B milk is typically cooled in cans immersed in cold flowing water underground with the same temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Grade B milk farms, though, only need to be inspected every two years. There are also a few differences in terms of bacterial counts and things of this nature, but this isn't a significant difference when factoring in eventual pasteurization and the like of milk sold to be drunk. So I really hope you liked that video, and if you did like it, click like below and leave us a comment to let us know what you think. And also check out a couple of our other videos, which are linked to on the screen now, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every day. Thanks for watching.